Hi everybody, uh, Stupid Farmers update, I guess we call them. So what we're doing this weekend, besides everything else we're trying to get done, is we're working on our mushrooms. We're actually getting them started. We have um, this product that we found at a large... Uh, it was Target. Shh, I'm supposed to say that. Target. Uh, a store, uh, Back to the Roots Organic Mushroom Mini Farm. Grows right out of the box. So, I bought these because every time you buy one of these and submit a picture on their website, if you read the box where to submit, they actually give a box slash kit to the elementary school of your choosing. Yes. And Garmin's a teacher. Yes. Well, they're not elementary school. Um, so, anyway, so following directions, what we're supposed to do is pop out the back of the box, which I already started earlier um and i'm actually following the directions this time because i would like this to be right pop out the back of the box then you're supposed to cut an x in the bag which contains the mycelium the mushroom spores and all that stuff to grow um so you take this bag once you cut the x in so it matches the groove in the box you soak it for you six... take it out of the box and soak it yeah, take it out of the box because cardboard's not really great for the soak. Take it out of the box. But I'm going to mark it in the box so the X lines up. And the... Show us how you're going to do that. Just... Children, don't do this without the supervision of adults. Or giant children, don't do this without the supervision of your spouse. Go ahead, you'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so there I have my X. Thusly, peel off the sides of it. What does it smell like? It smells like mushrooms. I would have thought it smelled like poop. Like poop? Poop. Oh, I know a lot of mushrooms are grown in poop. I don't think they sell you bags of poop like this. I know you can, it. if you sterilize coffee grounds, you can grow them out of that. Yeah. I love the dogs dancing in the background. Yeah, good buddies. And Odin over there. All right, so then what we're gonna do is soak these six to eight hours That's overnight dang. when we get back to it. We have our handy dandy pot right here. Uh, pick this pot because it's kind of dirty and I don't feel like washing it. So the water, I don't know if it makes a difference or not. A lot of people have their water treated or through tap water. Of course, all we have is rain water. So we started our collection for the year with the last rains. I think the freeze is over so we can start putting them back together or repairing them. We have a friend that we gifted this to, big shout out to uh, Jeff Yoder, and uh, he did this with his kids and he has regular tap water. Even if it was well water, it's still softened, so the elements in your filters aren't going to kill it, as long as you're not using bleach and harsh properties like that. We have not treated our water yet, so it's just rain water from the storms we had the other night. Hi Nova. That's Wilma. So, <laughs> down, off, off, <laughs> off. People That's would think deal. we have no control of. Yeah, down, <laughs> down. Hi, Wilma. I know they say they don't jump on our tables inside, but yeah, I believe when we're not there, they do it. But so, so gonna... the bag in your other hand came in damaged. Yes, this one came in or opened or whatever but the mushrooms were growing or inside the bag without us doing anything we just opened the boxes today and they blew through the top i don't know if there's any more growth involved in it or what's going to happen or if it's too dry so we'll see what happens uh we contacted the company and we're gonna see what happens see what they say we also ate some yeah <laughs> they were actually pretty sweet dogs didn't like them why are you on the table again get down get get down shoot she wants her booty. They just got fixed, so they're a little extra rambunctious. You would think they'd be, like, more docile, so I just put this in here, then. Are they both cut? They're both cut. Yes, then put them in there, and they're going to soak. I can soak them on their side, right? Yeah. Okay. Water's going to come out. I know it. This is Lukey. Lukey! Here's another question. Do you want the X's facing out? That's what I was just going to do. Okay. 
Luckily, it's tight enough that it'll somewhat stay. Put a rock brick on him? You can. Soon we'll have any brick. Garmin's a brick teacher, aka masonry teacher. So, from the donation of the previous owners, Jim and Sandy, hello, we miss you. Uh, we are using our handy dandy brick. <laughs> Is that the original stupid farmers? They just didn't know it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think they're stupid. They, no. They're years above us, but. I don't think we're stupid. Just we're goofy. Kind of dumb. Yeah. So, now we'll just stand here and wait six to eight hours and then. Now, what attracted you to these? Simple. And what did we buy already? Well, I was about to say, tomorrow we are going to Virginia to pick up um, logs. They're shiitake, right? Yes. Shiitake mushroom logs. They're four feet in length, and they're pre-jilled and pre-spored. And those we're going to put down by the pine, underneath the pine trees down by the lake. And then hopefully get some mushrooms out of that, too, but kind of compare the two of them. If not, our frogs are going to taste like mushrooms, and they're still going to be good eats. Yes. Because the dogs won't eat them once they taste like mushrooms. <laughs> So, say goodbye and thank Back to the Roots for having such an awesome organic mushroom kit. Yes, and sponsoring and helping out kids. Because <laughs> that's what we're all about. Bye, guys. Bye.